Hello, it's Mr. Bush here, and um, basically I was going to show you all how to do today's homework. So, uh, basically today's homework is the picture over there to the left, and make sure you have a periodic table. Um, if you have lost one of the three that I've given you, um, you can find one online. Alright, so let's go ahead and start with uh, beryllium. Alright, sorry, I lied. We're not doing beryllium, instead we're doing uh, boron. So, go ahead and find boron on your paper. It should be in the third column. And then find it on your periodic table. Alright, the first thing we want to solve is for the number of protons. If you look there, the atomic number for boron is 5, so it has 5 protons. Alright, then the next step is to find the electrons. They, for right now, the number of protons will be equal to the number of electrons. So, if you have five protons, you will have five electrons. Alright, so once again, number of protons for right now is equal to the number of electrons, as is shown there. So you'd have five electrons. Now let's find our protons. Alright, sorry I messed up again. My bad. Um, basically, we're finding the number of neutrons. So to find the number of neutrons, you would take the atomic mass and round it up or down, depending on basically the typical math rules. Four and below rounds down, five and above rounds up. So once you round the atomic mass, then you subtract the atomic number from it, and that gives you the number of neutrons. All right, let's move on to the uh, stuff we learned today. We're going to find valence electrons and uh, energy levels. Alright, now to find valence electrons, the first thing you do is uh, find the group. Everything in the group has the same number of valence electrons. So if you look off there to the side, it uh, basically says 13, and then below the group it has 13A. That means everything in that group has uh, three valence electrons. So, as you'll see, I've already numbered it. You have three valence electrons for every single element in that group. Alright, then all you do is just basically write three valence electrons in that spot. So, now that you found the number of valence electrons, let's look at energy levels. Once again, it's not going to be very difficult. The main thing you have to do is just find, basically learn how to read the periodic table. You find periods, and that will be your number of energy levels. So, like I was saying, you just find the period number over there to the side, and that's the number of energy levels an atom has. So, there's, it's really pretty simple, so to find that, just go across, and that's your energy level. So, pretty much, this is all you have to do for each problem. It is going to be due tomorrow, so uh, best of luck. If you need any help, feel free to come in for tutoring. Thank you and have a good day.